Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video today, storage unit day. 90 bucks for this unit. Uh, this was a whole circuit of uh, facilities going up. This was at the first facility. Uh, so I paid $90 for this. All my friends were, uh, they were all saying how this unit is probably the best one after I bought it. Uh, I don't know if they were just busting my chops or if it actually was. Tons of black garbage bags. Let's see what's inside. Try making it go. If you guys are ever curious about how these storage units look, how they work, we'll check one out uh, and check out what's inside. So, um, yeah, let's make it a good one. Try to find some treasure. Let's do it. So this is the unit. It's only a five by five, so it's not that large. Uh, I did see some hidden boxes over here in the corner. It kind of looks like this is most likely just a house clean out. Maybe an apartment clean out. That might be a whiteboard. Uh, but lots of mystery bags. Hopefully they're not filled with garbage. I see chalk down there. Uh, my friend, we'll just start with this, households. My friend uh, Taco Chowder, he, uh, he kept bugging me saying that this is probably the best unit of the day. Right about three bucks in garbage bags. I'm hoping he wasn't lying. He said, usually whenever you get these clean lockers, you see a lot of bags. It's probably something that's going to be clean. And you're going to have a lot of sellable stuff. All right. Hopefully... These things aren't just filled with garbage because I'm not going to be very happy if they are. This is kitchen. Just Tupperware. That's what all is, it's all Tupperware. Whole thing of crayons. Baby wipes. Looks like all your soaps, traveling. Nail polish remover. Got one random sports card. Lots of deodorant. Looks almost like a travel bag. These are all huggies. Looks like a lot of kid stuff so far. Alright. I'll leave that there. That looks like shelving to some shelf, but I don't see the shelf in here. We do have a Nike box. Oh, this bag's heavy. It'd be nice if it's filled with all Nike sneakers, but I don't think it is. Felt like clothes. Let's see what's in there. Nope. It's all your receipts. Alright, so I do see some bins in the back, which are promising. Stuff is wrapped. It looks like kitchenware. This whole thing of chalk. Lots and lots of kid stuff, which is what it is. I mean, can have a whole kid's day. What is it? Piranha sharpener. That Piranha belly collect shapings. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. Beach day is kind of over with. I mean, it's, we're towards the end of summer. Actually, a pretty nice stand. It's definitely a decoration. That might be in German. Might be able to get five bucks for that. What just fell? Baby's tent. Oh, I see. It's like a little toy tent. All right. Got yeah, another garbage bag. Lots of garbage bags. What do we got here? That's some cleaner. A lot of stuff kind of burns your nose. One wet mop. Literally one wipe. That's those sealed. We got some wipes there. Some brushes, or not brushes, um, sponges. More sponges. That stuff really burns your nose, whatever's in there. 
uh, and more Swiffer stuff. So this is all cleaning supplies. And here is probably, I'd say, 10 bucks in random cleaning supplies. A lot of people have recommended selling at the Meadowlands in Jersey. Apparently that's a good flea market for these kind of housewares. Just went ahead and gave this a rip. This thing is literally all toilet paper. I mean, this was gold six months ago. This thing is literally all toilet paper. That's all it is. The whole thing. Like, somebody hoarded toilet paper, which, you know, a couple months ago would have been a huge issue. Can't believe it. Literally a whole garbage bag of toilet paper. This is more houseware or toilet stuff. No, this is your kitchen stuff. You have Reynolds wrap, you have shrink wrap, you have pop tarts. I'm really not trying to open all this stuff because, I mean, you guys see it's pop tarts, you got some Reynolds wrap, stuff like that. I'm not gonna rip open this whole bag to show you guys have open boxes of pop tarts, but if you're storing pop tarts in a storage unit, I don't know the whole story. But food and storage units always throw me for a loop. Alrighty, so powering through this unit, uh, as you guys see, there's a bunch of bins. And these were not, like, you couldn't see these from the front. Um, I actually thought this whole unit would be all garbage bags. The bins show some promise, but who knows what can be inside there. We got two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, I did see the box over here, which very well can just be, I think it says cans on it. Um... But I have a feeling like this kind of stuff, it is taped up, but it could just be kids' underwear. And of course, yet another bin of cleaning supplies. I can tell you right now, I am not going to be buying cleaning supplies for a very long time. I do have a board game here. Another board game behind it. And it looks like the rest of the bag is actually going to be purses. Woman's clothes. See some cheetah print. That's just an empty box. Candy? Half eaten bag of candy. That kind of leads me to believe like if you're storing that, this is probably someone got evicted and they threw all the stuff in here. It's my guess. Nope. Some light just went off up there. Hey look. Tissues. Toilet paper. So a whole nother bag of cosmetics. Uh, if you guys really want to see like what's in every single bag, subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. I do a bunch of flea market videos and I'll tell you exactly like where this stuff came from, uh, when I'm selling it. Um, also, I do post videos other than just storage units, and I do talk about it in a variety of videos. If I come across something cool, like when I'm going through all those garbage bags later, um, I'll definitely tell you guys. I'll definitely say, hey, look, I found this, you know, box of old Nintendo games, or hey, I found a uh, nice Tiffany lamp, or whatever it might be. I do post that in other videos. I just try to keep these videos pretty much to around 15 to 25 minutes long. I don't think people want to see me inventory every single item and have this be like a two to three hour video so uh, make sure to subscribe down below if you guys haven't already whole thing of toilet paper tissues and other bathroom supplies fragile and uh kind of concerned because that's what it sounds like oh <laughs> well kind of makes sense why it sound like that these are all a bunch of uh seashells sally sells seashells by the seashore and a whole whole box of them this. This. this is marked candles which I want to just go ahead and say it's probably candles because that's what it kind of looks like this is all your tools Sure. Clock gun. 
There's some pliers. Uh, these I definitely need. These are your, I guess these are your hex wrenches or Allen wrenches, Allen keys. Some more cleaning supplies. That is empty. Yeah, uh, you got some Yu-Gi-Oh. Not Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but Yu-Gi-Oh DVDs. And this is wrap that you wrap a uh, pallet or something you might want to wrap. Got a nice hammer here. This looks like a Black and Decker. Not bad. And did you believe it? More bathroom supplies. Alrighty. So garbage bag over there. All towels. Uh, another one was all towels as well. And we'll get that out and I'll get that out. Those will probably be the last things to go out because, well, you got to load the van the right way. And it's just how it works. This is literally a whole bin of all your kitchen stuff. You got trays, you got pans, you got mugs, teapot, you got a whole knife set over here on the side. Don't want to grab that the wrong way. It can lead for a bad day. So you probably got like 10, 15 bucks in there. This one feels kind of light. Let's see what's in the soccer ball tote. Toys. So we're going to check that out. Looks like all... Oh, is that the uh, the shark guy from Baby Shark? I don't know. Looks like all younger kids' toys. Nothing too crazy in here. Nothing old. Nothing vintage. Here's the other soccer ball toy. Tote. What's inside? Probably toys. Hey, more toys. Get yourself a mask, kind of scary, kind of not. More toys. Got some small, like, Tonka truck kind of looking things. This might be for some sort of train station. A little TYB baby. So, another tote of more modern toys. We have some Nerf items as well as some extra batteries. This one is marked fragile. I just closed it. I don't know why that just happened. Fragile, fragile, fragile. Oh, uh, everything's wrapped. Huh. Positive vibes. So it's marked. Canister. Looks like this is all just going to be glassware. Everything is wrapped. Open up another one. This looks like a vase. This is... I don't know what this is. I might not want to know what this is. Some tea lights, candle lights. So like the whole thing is probably just going to be glassware because uh, everything is wrapped. We do have American Home by Yankee Candle and your buttercream frosting. Oh, that <laughs> I just showed that to you guys because I thought you guys can smell it. Obviously, you can't. That smells amazing. That really does. That's going to my house. Another one marked fragile over there. This is the one that we already looked at. That. That's all the kitchenware. Pop those in. This one also looks like all these bins are marked fragile. Wonder if they're all wrapped. This one's not even fragile. This does not smell the best. Some more glass. Some brassware. That's, I don't know what that is. More candles. Skin for a jewel. Scissors, like the whole house. Index cards. It's actually kind of a nice rock. I'm not a big rock guy, but. Kind of nice. This is 
I mean, you got everything. You got like nail polish, food color dye. This is whole cloves. You got a credit card in there. A little jewelry pouch. See if they'll. Oh no. That's. No, that's nothing. I'll put that in my back pocket, but it doesn't look like gold. And then there were four. I guess they just mark fragile on everything. I wonder if the bottom ones are. No, no, they're not. At least they don't look like they are. Oh, yeah, there you go. More wrapped glassware. Candles right on top. These smell pretty good. This. Scented. Not even going to pronounce it, but yes. This feels like just glassware. It's all newer glassware also. It's not, you know, they're, I mean, they're just, like it's newer glassware. It's like a chocolate. This is a candle. I think it will sell. I mean, it's not eBay pieces by any means. It's not antiques or vintage or collectibles really. But I think somebody who wants it, like, I don't know if this is at Dollar General. A buck a piece, two dollars each. I think I can get two for a dollar or a dollar each. You got a bunch in here. Yeah, another one right there. So to make ninety bucks back isn't a problem. Uh, I mean, what I say, there's probably like ninety dollars in cleaning supplies between all these bins. This one's probably like forty or fifty dollars retail. You got like sixty, eighty bucks there. So. Everything's so neatly stacked also. That's kind of what's throwing me for a loop. Some DVDs. Bunch of books. Like if it was somebody getting kicked out um, of like a house, I don't know if everything would be wrapped like this. I don't know. All right, and then there were two. So we'll grab this one out. Oh, it's more bathroom stuff. Some paperwork over here that might be first aid stuff. <laughs> it's funny. It's one of those head massage things. Everything's just like thrown in here. I mean, you got. I don't know what that is. Like, this is like literally the entire bathroom. It's your bathroom stuff. You got soaps. You got Very Merry Unbirthday Three Bath Brews. Giant tea bags for your bath. All right. Last one. Oh, all books, looks like. Hey, I saw a Harry Potter book. No, I'm just losing it. Where's the guy with the, uh, the scanner to scan these books, see if they're worth anything? So you got magazines, Cosmopolitan. It's this brass looking thing. Oh, it's more books. This thing is literally just nothing but books. And I saw plenty of books at that clean out that I helped a fellow YouTuber do. It's like a vacuum cleaner thing. But anyway, this thing looks like all books. So, I mean, the kids' books, four for a dollar, two for a dollar, some of those like a Superman thing, maybe get a buck a piece for. Now, now somebody wants some punch balloons. Oh, I was like, what, what's a punch balloon? And I realized, you throw it up in there, you punch it. Books, lots of books. The nice thing about this locker is 
Although some of the stuff had crammed in there, a lot of the stuff was clean. There were maybe like one or two bags of iffy garbage, but other than that, a lot of this stuff is more modern, newer stuff, but uh, definitely resellable, reusable stuff that someone down the line is going to be able to use. Alrighty. Well, got everything out. We have vacuum cleaners and dust pans. The air conditioner came out. Uh, the one thing with these units is, yes, you have to take everything. Uh, the auctioneer, even at this auction, let's see how this looks. All right, there we go. The auctioneer at this auction said that you had to take everything. And if you don't take everything, you're not welcome back. Um, and that's pretty much what every auctioneer does is if you guys buy one of these storage units and you don't clear out everything, you're not allowed back at these auctions. So if you're wondering why maybe I'm taking something that might be garbage or I'm taking everything, that's exactly why. Uh, these units at this facility cost $40 a month to rent, in case you guys were wondering as well. Uh, I did pay 90 bucks for this unit uh, today at auction. Cleaned it all out as you guys saw exactly what was inside. Lots and lots of cleaning stuff, a lot of stuff that I can definitely reuse myself, possibly resell, uh, recycle, maybe donate. Uh, so yeah, lots and lots of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more storage units just like this, I'm going to be going to a couple more storage units in the next couple days and posting a bunch of videos as well on these storage unit auctions. Uh, subscribe down below so you don't miss any future storage unit videos. Fun clean outs all around. Show you guys exactly what I find. If you guys want to see where, uh, where this stuff goes, how I sell it, stuff like that, I do have videos on my channel as well. So subscribe down below for future, subscribe down below for future uh, storage unit videos. Catch you guys next time. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.